guys, it's Blogger Bling here and today I'm going to show you how to do Day of the Dead Sugar Skull Bling Makeup. So let's get straight into it. I'm wearing my hair extension, my clipping hair extensions from Kylie Jenner from last year when she bought them out with the teal ends. I thought this would create a cool, really cool look with, with the bling. I'm applying my Autopilot Pre Foundation Base. So I'm just applying that all over my skin as always. Then I apply my Tom Ford in Fawn Light Foundation Base, being that I don't want to wear a white um, paint on my face. I just want a light foundation so I'm using my lighter tone foundation that I have in my kit that you use to tend to use for contouring. So I just apply that all over the face. Very easy. And then I use my beauty blender and ball, dot that in and work that into the skin. Then I use my Napoleon in look 3 just powder just to set the foundation into the skin. Now I'm using a cheap eyeliner that I just picked up, a black eyeliner, because I'm going to use this to stencil um, the eye sockets for the skull. I just used it freely around the eye, I didn't have a, a stencil to copy, I thought it was just the easier way to go around. It doesn't matter if it's not even, because once you add the bling, it will create more of an even look, which you'll see later on. And if I made a mistake, I just go back with my beauty blender and foundation brush. I'm now using a black lipstick to fill in the eye sockets. Just using that around, placing that around the eye, spraying that with just a normal makeup brush it's easy to glide on. I can use liquid eyeliner but I, I like the gloss look so that's why I used a lipstick and it'll give a nice sheen around the eye as well. Now with the black liner I'm just shaping the nose. I'm adding little dots just around my nose just to help me work out where I need to connect the dots. That's more like an M and then a U shape around the edge of the nose. Everyone has different nose shapes so you just follow your natural nose line but it's important to have the M in the middle of the nose. And then I just fill that in with the black lipstick. Now I'm creating the teeth lines around my lip. Now I want this to be quite long, so I'm starting in the middle, best to start in the middle. And then I'm working with my lip line and guiding that line out to the sides because I'm going to create quite a big mouth for the teeth. And then I'm going to use the colour disc in the bright pink on the end there. And I'm just filling that in in the sockets around the eyes and underneath the eyes where I haven't filled in the lipstick around my eyes. And that's just going to create the base of a fuchsia pink. Now I'm going to use a loose dust with a shimmer, a gold shimmer in it, just to create a bit softer as the fuchsia is quite heavy so it gives a nice sheen with the fuchsia underneath. So I'm going to go straight into it and bling. So I'm using a Swarovski crystal and I found it quite heavy for it to stick on with the eyelash glue. 
So being that it's a crystal, I had to just blow it. It's a really good trick when you're using heavy jewels on the face. It's just to give it a little blow and that set tends to help it stick a little bit better because it dries it. And now I'm placing them around the eye socket with the Swarovski crystals and that's in a teal colour. And I just place them with a little bit of a gap in the middle because I'm adding a second row underneath for that gap to be filled. Again, we're filling in the gaps of the Swarovski crystals to create this nice effect around the eye of double crystals. And now I'm placing smaller crystals around the face. And how I do this is I, when I work with it, I always try to follow the, the other side, being that it's easier to work with, to match, to make sure that you're putting it evenly on the face. Otherwise, if you do one side and it looks too much, and then you do one other side, it might not be as even. the sides around the eye on the bottom and also on the cheek because I notice that sugar skulls also ha tend to have diamantes on the chin <laughs> Also place some just on the ends of where my teeth line is. A cake sealer to a teal colour to match the eyes and the hair. And I'm using that as a lipstick at the moment. Because it's got a nice sheen to it so this will bring out the teal in the eyes. I'm placing the crystals on my lip so I'm using teardrop crystals for the two front teeth and then I'm using a liquid liner and I'm creating the rest of my teeth with this it gives a nice flick at the end so it gives a more edgier look with the teeth rather than using the coal liner. I found this worked really well. And then I'm placing just some round little Swarovski crystals around the lips on the bottom. And then I connect all the lines to make the teeth. And there's my mouth. Now for lashes. And that's how I apply the glue on my lashes. I usually
usually let that just sit on the lash line to dry because it's easier to apply on the lashes. And then I work it onto the lash line. And then I'm using my liquid liner to create a winged eye look as well. Then I'm using my favourite mascara from Longcom. It's called Grenos. It's French, so I'm not very good at French. I'm sorry if I get it wrong. Uh, but it has a swan head. And then I'm using Napoleon's green liner in Lagoon. I'm using that in the inner rim of my lashes. And then I go back and get the same colour I used on my lips and I'm just working in that colour on my lash hairs just to create um, an open eye on the bottom. That creates a bit of a colour on the lashes on the bottom of my eyes. Oh, don't forget to add the rose headband and that would complete this look to all together and there you have it there is my day of the dead sugar skull bling makeup don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel guys